Start 6, your gateway to ultimate consciousness. Some of us are actually so old that we uh, can remember playing the original Syndicate like a long, long, long time ago. Which was, of course, developed by uh, Bullfrog, who later become, became Lionhead, and was also a strategy game. Mm -hmm. Great strategy game. Uh, the sequel, inspired by reboot, whatever you want to call it, is the first person shooter though, and it's even been developed by a Swedish developer. Yeah, Carbreeze. Yeah, um, so, so first of all, why first person shooter and, and does it work? <laughs> uh, well, I have no idea why. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's the trend. Uh, if it works, yes, it totally works. Um, Gameplay-wise, it has pretty much nothing in common with 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 the old Syndicate games, but but the universe, the setting, yeah. Well, I mean, the, the universe and the setting. Uh, it's a bunch of small references to the old Syndicate, so I I, I get why why they did it. Um, as a shooter, though, I think it's pretty solid. Okay. Yeah. So so let's start out with that because it is like a futuristic shooter mm. uh, set in in a world where a big corporations or syndicates rule have more or less uh, yeah, rule everything. And we all have microchips in our heads. Yeah, and, and what is your role in the game? You are an agent of a syndicate called Eurocorp, which means um, th there's really no countries and no law enforcement, so there are no rules, so you know competition is, is fierce as all get go. So your job is basically to go and kill the other guys. <laughs> uh, you know, they, they develop something new. Uh, we can, we, you, you go steal it and you know shoot the guy who made it in the process usually. Um, uh, it's all held up on two gimmicks. Uh, one of them which is the dart overlay, which is a sort of Batman Detective Vision-esque thing. Where, you know, if, if you spot an enemy, you can you then see an overlay of them through walls and through covers and all that. Which is pretty neat because the AI is actually smart enough to move around when it's, it's in cover. So a guy ducks down behind a you know, traced high wall. He won't pub out the same place where he ducked Ooh. down. Yeah, that, that, that's brilliant here in 2012. Oh my god. Um, the other uh, gimmick is called a breaching, which is um, basically hacking the chips that are inside people's heads. Or inside their guns, or inside the computer that locks the wall or whatever. Um, and breaching a guy's chip in his head lets you do a couple of things like um, make him commit suicide. Or turn him against his buddies and fight on your side. Or you can make his weapon backfire, which is a sort of group effect where you can knock over a couple of guys and mm. they'll be extra susceptible to damage. And, and you do all that in the heat of battle as a sort of cyberpunk Jedi. Um, and and it actually, it's actually pretty cool. It reminds me of the old Jedi Knight game a little bit, where okay. you're using the force to throw your opponents around. Uh, which is sweet. Yeah. Okay, but, but um, that's the mechanics of it yeah. though. How, how does it work just as a pure shooter? It works pretty well. Um, it's it's completely linear. Uh, so if you don't like linear shooters, stay away from this. But I, I don't mind. Um, the AI is pretty decent. There's the the pacing is quite good. Um, lots of mixing up uh, different types of enemies and um, invisible enemies, and yeah. suddenly you're fighting in an EMP field, and, and there's a little while where your all your gimmicks don't work and stuff like that. It, it keeps mixing up the game, um, and rarely reuses the same idea. So um, you. You don't have have that thing where you walk into a room and it's like, oh, it's those guys again. Yeah, okay. Um, and you don't have the on rails, on rails, on rails. There, there, there's a single on rail section, which is okay. Um, pacing wise, the game actually reminds me a bit of Half Life Two. Okay. Um, High praise. Yeah, it's not as good as Half Life Two was, uh, but but uh, it's pretty good. And they they've definitely taken a couple of notes out of Valve's books, which is nice. Okay, so that's the single player, but supposedly or. I've heard at least that the multiplayer is also a big part of the game. There's a four player co-op mode with nine missions each, all of which are supposedly inspired by the original Syndicate game, uh, which is actually really obvious in the first mission because it's based, the entire architectural style of it is taken straight out of the old game. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, I got pretty nostalgic running around in that. Um, but yeah, four player co-op, um, you, you, you still have the Overlay the breach abilities. The breach abilities are a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, there are also more of them. Uh, so you choose to equip a couple. So sort of define your role as support or you know defense or offense or whatever. Um, and it, it reminds me a little bit of Left 4 Dead. Uh, again with the Valve references. Um, it's usually shooting a bunch of guys, fighting your way onto a boss, and then killing him. Occasionally there's there's some variants where 
for instance, you have to steal some hard drives with some computers. Yeah. And these are obviously heavy, so you can only use uh, pistols when you're carrying the hard drives and you move slower. So some and this is done dynamically? Oh, yeah, 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 totally. So, so some guys have to cover you while you bring the stuff back to the dropship and then, yeah, stuff like that. Okay. It, it works pretty well. There's also a sort of upgrade system, so you can upgrade your abilities, upgrade your weapons and stuff like that, which is kind of reminiscent of, of the old game. Okay. So, so it just works? It pretty much just works, yeah. It also gets really, really hard in co-op. Uh, the, the later missions, you know, if you, if you start on normal and you're just sort of an average player, the, the, the early missions will be a breeze, the late ones will be, oh my god, this is insane because you're fighting agents with the same abilities as you and crap load of more hit points. Mm. So, so the later missions really requires teamwork and coordination and stuff like that. So we used uh, the word reboot about uh, yeah. the new syndicate before and, and it, it more or less seems like I guess you use the word also inspired, mm. uh, a game that has been inspired and is not necessarily for the fans of the original. Yeah, I mean, the, the, there's a bunch of small references to the original. You'll, you'll see some weapons that are the same, you'll see some uh, machines in the background that are the same, you'll see, visit some places that are also in the old game. But, but those are really the only ties. I mean, they, it's a game that was, sort of wants to stand on its own, even though it's a reboot. You said that it's very linear, and I guess that means it's it's really story driven. Um, well, there's a story. Uh, it, well, yeah, yeah, it's story driven in the way that you know you, you get your motivation. Oh, you're going here now because of this, and yeah. you're going there because of this, and you got to save this guy and do whatever. Um, the story, I I think, is the weakest part of the game. Actually, I, I was a little let down because there's a plot turn about two thirds of the way through that I won't spoil, but really disappointed me okay. and from then on it just felt like I, I I think that that was actually the part where it deviated the most from from the old style syndicate because uh, it's hard to talk about without spoiling anything but but in the old style syndicate you were really just you know an agent of a faceless evil corporation that was really faceless and evil and this game goes in a sort of different direction in the end which was a letdown for me um, but you know the actual shooting is pretty fun. Or it's actually really fun, and the weapons and the variety and all that, all that stuff works well. So, you know, I can live with the story not being that good. So it's kind of a hard job to pick out a good FPS today because the, the market is more or less crowded with mm. them. Uh, but but is uh, Syndicate a game that that people should think about when picking a new Certainly, game? Certainly, I, I I really enjoyed it. Mm. Apart from a couple of frustrating boss fights, uh, the 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 whole game was was a very enjoyable experience for me. Um, I also think you know, it has a lot more original ideas on the right than, than your standard run the mill military shooter. Compared to something like Battlefield 3's uh, single player campaign, this is much better, I think. So, um, yeah, if you're a shooter fan, this is definitely something you should take a look at. Showtime!